personal entry code for the lab, it may still work. It's no good. Let me try mine. Hey, what's up guys? Well, finally he has arrived. The uh, T800 premium format from uh, Sideshow Collectibles. Um, again, I am blown away by Sideshow's work. And they continue to impress me in every piece they release. And um, Terminator 2, it's one of my favorite top five movies of all time. And it's just it was such a great movie. Uh, T1 was great too. But man, T2 when it came out in 1992 was just a, an amazing movie and uh, I remember going to see it with my dad and when I walked out of the theater I was just completely blown away by the movie. So here we have it, the premium format. Sorry guys, I got this bright light going on here so you guys can see better. And, and it's unbelievable. Trevor, wow, the, the likeness of Arnold is just unreal. All the details there, that expression on his face. It's, it's unreal. Um, the detail is unbelievable. The leather work on it is fantastic. To the belt buckles there and the straps on the uh, grenade launcher, it's unreal. The pose is uh, very unique. Um, a lot of people were complaining about the exclusive being just a little endo arm, which it's kind of cool, but you know, people probably wanted something more, a uh, uh, better. Uh, maybe the minigun or uh, in there but I think they um, they wanted to try something different because they already released a statue with the minigun on it so I think they wanted to capture more of the scene when he's at the window launching the uh, blowing on all the cop cars with the grenade launcher so they went with this and I mean they it's it's a fantastic re recreation right there he's uh, putting the shell in the in the uh, grenade launcher and pushing it in with his thumb so it's it oh, I'm so blown away by this it's unbelievable there's tons of detail and the belt and all that and yes there is the issue with the brighter belt uh, everybody was uh, not too happy about it and you can see it right there it is a white kind of like tan belt um, I have no complaint about it because you can barely see it I mean, uh, first look at it, you can even see the belt. But in the movie, uh, a couple shots in the movie, the belt changed colors and shapes and all that. So I looked at the movie a couple times to make sure. And but yeah, they they should have made it black. And you know, it's a, you know he's wearing all black leather, so it's a minor thing. Nothing. Uh, it just doesn't ruin the piece at all. The shells, the bullet shells are amazing. So so much detail. They look great. And it's just the, the the striking thing about this PF is the the head sculpt is just unreal. That's Arnold right there, no question about it. The base is uh, really cool. Uh, nothing too special, but I mean they probably wanted to recreate more like the um, right here on the floor, the scene on the, the Cyberdyne building. That's probably right there, the uh, the uh, floor that they had in that scene. And the base is pretty unique. It's got a lot of detail some parts of the cyber nine maybe I think that's where they wanted to go and recreate that so guys uh, what more can I say Sideshow is an amazing company and in my opinion they have created the best two statues in the world the one-to-one -one scale bus right uh, Stan Winston and this statue is the next thing in uh, in likeness to represent the Arnold likeness so guys I hope you enjoy the rest of the uh, showcase and uh, I will see you guys soon